My name is Ashlyn and I am the owner of Shasta Vortex Adventures in Mount Shasta, California. We offer guided tours on the mountain and around the surrounding areas 24-7. Well, not 24. <laughs> <laughs> this is harder than I thought. It's a little hard. You can look at me instead of the camera. That makes okay. it any easier. We offer guided tours in uh, South Mount Shasta. We, we offer guided tours in the Mount Shasta area uh, in all four seasons. The favorite tour we have are the, uh, what I call the sacred site treks. And that's where people want to go up on the mountain to experience the energy of the mountain. Mount Shasta is known by many people worldwide as a sacred energy vortex. So everyone comes here to figure out what their experience of being in this vortex is. I always say when you're on the mountain, if you go up there with the right intention, the right attitude and humility, that it's easier to talk to God up there, uh, whoever you may think your God is. So on our uh, sacred side tracks, we um, encourage people to become receptive to the energies of the mountain and invite them to um, uh, become receptive to anything that spirit may have to offer them um, and state what their intention is for the day. And we take them into areas uh, that are not always vortexes, but uh, sometimes to sacred springs, to portal areas, trying to shift their energy to a place where they can get out of their head and into their hearts and experience more of the spiritual ac ac aspects of reality. Um, I usually take my dowsing rods with me. Um, I have them right here these copper dowsing rods. I'll start out by uh, measuring the outer edges of the aura of the people that we take on our journeys. I'll measure that in our office here. And then once we've been up on the mountain and have done our prayers and ceremonies and in these sacred spots, I measure their aura again. And almost always the size of their aura triples. And they, they ask me, what is this all about? And my explanation is that uh, this is part of what I consider to be the ascension process, is finding ways to um, access higher and higher vibrational frequencies at sacred sites around the world or in whatever way should work for you. And um, that will help you to access or accrue or experience a higher level of vibrational frequency. And once you've, your aura's been, you know, 40 feet in diameter, it, once it's been there, it's easier for you to get back to that place. So that's my little version of working toward the ascension process. I'm, I also measure the outer edges of the vortexes with the dowsing rods. Uh, to me, if it's like this, that means that's the outer edge. If it's like this, that means I'm standing in the, the energy of field of the vortex, so I have to back up until the rods actually get like this. Does that, can you see that better on camera? Mm -hmm. And sometimes when I'm in the center of a vortex, I'll put my arm up and ask the, oh, it's doing, it's doing a good job. It's, it's showing me that we're in the center of a vortex now. <laughs> I always jokingly say my office is a vortex, so hey, maybe I'm right. <laughs> anyway, this is a room where I do a lot of healing here, so here we are in a vortex. And then uh, I've learned to identify ley lines. One place I take people is a dirt road uh, that goes into uh, an old mineral bath resort and you're on the dirt road and then there's a hillside right here and there's two really large trees that grow out of that hillside kind of in a curve like this and then they go up and there's another tree over here maybe 20 feet away so same curve and I've been told that that indicates that there is a ley line coming from up the hill going down into the creek so we get out our trusty dowsing rods and 
uh, I ask it to show me the outer edge of the ley line, and it, it's straight this time. And I've noticed that I feel some energy in my heart, like something shifts just slightly when I walk into the vortex itself. And then once again, I'll ask for it to show me the center of the ley line, and, and, and it'll do its little spinning around in a circle thing. And then I go to the next tree, and just beyond the next tree, I ask for the outer edge of the vortex, and it, it shows me again. And one time, it's kind of interesting, this lady was standing in the center of that ley line, and she goes, oh my gosh, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. And I said, just breathe through it, let me know what else you're experiencing. The chatter in my head is gone. The chatter in my head is gone, <laughs> which was didn't happen very often for her, so she got lightheaded. And more aligned with her true self, shall we say. So it's fun playing with the vortex energies, the portal energies, um, and some of the vortexes uh, that I've been in go both, spiral both down into the earth and up at the same time. Uh, some of them just only go up. Uh, and once we've been inside the vortex and done our meditations or prayers or affirmations, whatever it is we want to do, um, I once again measure the vortex before we go in, and then after we've done our ceremonies, it, it always gets bigger. It's like they say in quantum physics, uh, things don't exist until you look at them. You know, and once you uh, put your attention, especially sacred intention, into the vortex area, it, it gets larger. Uh, there's also portals, which are different than vortexes. They are like doorways that either go up or down. The, the vortex energies are spinning in a, a circle. And I call a vortex, my definition for a vortex is a confluence of energy lines. The grid lines and the ley lines coming together in one place and whoosh, they meet and then they swirl whereas the portals are more like um, energy that's uplifting or pulling you up, uh, similar to the ascension energies. When I stand in those portals, I feel like my head clears and, and I stand taller and you know, you, you get a really nice um, healing, empowering healing. And then there's portals that go down into the earth and that's more for communicating with the, the beings of the earth, or of the inner earth. So, there's a lot of things on the mountain that are, I haven't yet explored, obviously. Um, I'm getting to the point now where I'm ready to write a book about all this, about um, the different energies that are in the portals that since I am a tour guide, I get people from all around the world walking into my office asking me for a, a map of the vortexes, <laughs> just like they have in Sedona. And I have to say, well, there is none, and, but maybe there will be one once I decide to do this, to sit down and make it a, a happening deal. And, you know, vortexes move around, too. I have a feeling that... Um, there's new vortexes appearing uh, on a, and, and disappearing on a regular basis. So um, I invite everyone to come and experience the wonderful uh, spiritual energy vortex of Mount Shasta in whatever way best suits you. Our office hours here in Mount Shasta are 9.30 to 5.30, Monday through Saturday, and 11 to 4 on Sunday. We are open holidays. Those seem to be our best days of the year. So please give us a call at 530-926-4326. Or you can check out our website at shastavortex.com. We have a lot of um, interesting photos and information about the different guides that I have. I've got a Native American guide who does authentic ceremonies on the mountain. I have another person who's interested in sacred geometry and the David energies in springs and beloved is helps people open their hearts and I'm a psychic healer and reader and hypnotherapist. So we do guided vision quests 
um, you get a lot more than just a beautiful walk on the mountain when you come with us. It's about personal transformation, awareness, and understanding, figuring out why you're here, and and um, just seeing your particular gifts that um, you were given to share with the world. We we help people to uncover that information about themselves and, and have a good time in the process. <laughs>